to a, a, be in a seat in the front and the persons that are our caregivers <coughs> stand three feet behind them. Okay. Those that are caregiver, uh, care, uh, living with dementia, close your eyes, relax. And on a count of three, those that are caregivers, go ahead, go ahead and move forward and, as we discuss. Don't do that. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> okay. All right. Have a seat. <laughs> so, go ahead and breathe. We actually encourage breathing. Exhale uh, out through your mouth. Because we know by doing that, it helps lower stress. Because when we're under stress, we end up having this stress hormone that shoots into our brains called cortisol. cortisol. And with that, you can't think, and your first tendency is to just react. And one of the things with dementia, as all the thinking part of the brain is being attacked, basically, the, just the primitive part of the brain, which is the amygdala down the is that's what they're functioning on. And the, get your hands like this. And see, this is Tifa Snow training. We learn by kinetically doing things too. Uh, we, by, <coughs> by, ah! and I want, I want, I want. If it's driven by the amygdala, those are the things that want. So, fly, ah! by, ah! I want, I want, I want. And if you are personally with dementia, that ends up becoming your primary drive muscles. Okay. So those of you that were the care receivers, um, what was that like for you? What, when they came up on you like that? Startled. Startled. Well, I wasn't startled that time. It was the time she did it before uh, when you were talking about uh, it. Yeah, she kind of but, gave it away a little bit. But my body just, you know, wants to shrug it off and yeah, yeah. it shudders is what I do. Yeah. I don't like it. Yeah. I was looking for balance. Looking for balance. And as caregivers, what was that experience like? Oh, it was interesting. completely against anything I would ever do in this because I used to care I mean I used to work in facilities so I would never mm -hmm. definitely approach anybody like that so. Mm -hmm. so as care receivers those are living with dementia what would how did you react I would have liked some kind of announcement of some sort to prepare me that's what you want, but how, how did you react? Oh. What, was, what was the feelings? I, I was looking for a way to stabilize myself. Uh, defensive. Defensive? Yeah, defensive. Feeding the creeps. Feeding the creeps. <laughs> <laughs> what did, did you want to do? Oh, well, I wanted to get up and walk away. Okay. If I was at home, I might have slapped. <laughs> okay, okay. Listen to that. You wanted to slap. <laughs> and what did you want to do? I wanted to know what what was expected. Of, there must have been somebody wanted me to do something. I wanted to know what, why that happened. Why? I want to know why, why did that just happen? Okay. And, and going over here, you wanted to slap. Remember, as the brain, that, that executive part of the brain, particularly the prefrontal lobe area, is being attacked or uh, is affected by the dementia, that's the part of the brain that says you don't react that way, you control yourself. But when that's taken away, that amygdala says, bite, bite, bite. 
And as caregivers, uh, what was that like if, if, if you would have been seeing that? Well, it's troubling, troubling. to see the reaction, yeah. understanding how they're perceiving as being passively attacked. And, mm -hmm. and, and when you are, uh, what type of situations where you would see this type of activity or interaction take place? You know, when I've gone up to Valley View to spend an hour with those folks and I see various ones of them sitting out there that are going to participate with me, I go to them and on the approach, I, I always ask myself, you know, how is the best way to approach this individual that they won't, one, be threatened or turn away or not want to participate? I want them to participate. So I'm looking for some sort of um, way to start a communication that won't put them off, won't mm -hmm. send them somewhere else because I have gone up there and had one say, oh no, I don't, I'm not, you know, and they'll turn away mm -hmm. when I start to approach. I don't know whether to touch, if that's okay or not, okay. Um, so I don't. Okay, so based upon, you know, you're seeing a situation where it's fine, based upon what you've learned today, how would you approach it differently? Knowing that their sight, first of all, um, I need to get into their line of vision. There you go, there you go. What else? as working in assisted living and being a caregiver. Um, in their line of sight is, is one thing. Um, sitting at their level is another to make them comfortable. Mm -hmm. exactly. um, and, and speaking to them, where they can also see your, um, your lips because some of their hearing is in their lips. Right. And their hearing can be impaired by other things too, obviously. Mm -hmm. but, yeah. Sure. So I'm just thinking about specifically public transportation use. Mm -hmm. We have a lady that we transport every week to get her hair done, and she's full-blown dementia. And you can't even hardly understand what she's saying. She's speaking words, but they don't make sense. Right. Um, and so, and she uses a wheelchair, and so there are a lot of things that take place in trying to secure the mobility device and everything. And by the time you get her on the vehicle and get her situated, get the chair secured, she's already forgotten where she's at, what you're doing. Right. So it's, with her, it's constantly talking, but she can't see what you're doing behind her, and she's already forgotten why she's where she's at. You mm -hmm. know? So it's just mm -hmm. it's interesting. So you're doing a lot of talking, and that's right. the other thing. As caregivers, we've got to keep it very short and concise. Don't, don't focus on step seven or eight or nine, just focus on What's step coming one. next. Right. That's the way it has to go. What's, what's happening next? One other thing, else to do with that situation. We, were, we were talking about getting in their line of sight, and this, you, you go ahead. 